We're learning more today about the two people, not these two, but these two are coming in a moment. The two people appointed by the Department of Justice to lead the investigation into a series of intelligence leaks. It comes as a growing number of lawmakers suggest that this information that was leaked came directly from the White House. That is the speculation not yet proven. Here are the two guys who are going to lead the investigation to figure out where the leaks came from. U.S. attorneys Ronald Machen and Rod Rosenstein. Uh, they will investigate what some have called some of the most serious, recent, or serious leaks in recent history. But now some conservative bloggers and others are raising concerns about whether this team can lead a truly unbiased investigation. It's not just bloggers. We've heard some concern from lawmakers. Simon Rosenberg is president and founder of NDN, a think tank, and he is also a former campaign advisor to President Clinton. Mark Thiessen is a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a former speechwriter for President George W. Bush. Guys, welcome. Uh, so Eric Holder has Thank said, you. I'm going to appoint these two U.S. attorneys, those are federal prosecutors, basically, to investigate mm -hmm. where the leaks came from and, and wherever the evidence leads, and that's fine by me. Now the folks are upset because one of the guys, one guy is, an, is a Republican appointee, George W. Bush put him in place, but mm -hmm. one guy was appointed by President Obama and has described President Obama as a legend and was one of the first people to donate to President Obama's Senate campaign and to his presidential campaign. And Mark, the allegation is that how can we trust this guy, Ronald Machen, to be objective in, uh, in investigating, uh, you know, what, what may be a leak close to the man he thinks is a legend? Absolutely. Look, I, I think it's in the administration's own interest to appoint a special counsel. I mean, they stand accused of, ha of having leaked highly classified information in an election year to help the president look good for the November elections. The last thing they should want is to have even the appearance that they are somehow politicizing this process. And appointing a man who, as you point out, uh, was called Obama a legend and who gave to his first Senate race, who gave uh, to his presidential campaign and helped him vet vice presidential nominees is just plain stupid. And on top of that, even if he is independent, which he very well could be, uh, the, he reports to the attorney general, an attorney general who, is a, who may soon uh, face contempt of Congress charges and who's been discredited on Capitol Hill. What you want to have is an independent counsel who answers not to the attorney general, but to an independent judge and whose who's, uh, in, independence can't be questioned. And by the way, that's what uh, all the people objecting to a special counsel now said when it came to the Valerie Plame case, which was a much less serious situation. So if it was good enough for Valerie Plame, it should be good enough for the leaking of, this, of this fact that we launched a cyber attack on Iran you to know, the back, New York Times. Back during when Val Valerie Plame's identity as a CIA operative agent, whatever she was exactly, was leaked, uh, Simon, there were at least two uh, Democrats who wanted an independent counsel who did not want a special prosecutor or, or U.S. attorney, as we've seen in this case. They wanted an independent counsel, and they were then Senators Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Uh, so there is a question now about whether, you know, turnarounds fair play, and now that they're on the receiving end of these accusations about improper leaks, whether they should subject themselves, their administration, to an independent counsel as well. So three quick points. One is it's clear the administration is taking this very seriously. They've moved quickly. They've been working with Congress. The FBI has already been dispatched to begin the investigation. So there's an enormous amount happening. Uh, second is that I think that one of the lessons from what happened in the Valerie Plame investigation was that the independent counsel, it didn't work. And the statues that are in place, you know, after all those investigations, all the depositions, Mark probably knows many people who went through a very difficult time back mm -hmm. in the White House, right, was that what did they end up getting Scooter Libby on? They got him on obstruction of justice. It wasn't, they couldn't prosecute him because the statutes are so weak. And what might be a better use of all the time of Congress right now is to, to look at, from a legislative standpoint, a way of putting more teeth into these statutes so that we don't have these incredible uh, waste of time in an election year, right, when this thing is going to get politicized no matter what we do. And I think that the statutes themselves, Megan, you're a lawyer, right, are not strong enough to really ensure that an independent counsel and all the time in, into it will be worth the time and effort. Well, you and know I think what caught my eye today, we Mark? Let me, let me, that's uh, something that we, we learned we, we, we gotta, from this last We know what caught yeah. my eye, Mark, is that Andrew McCarthy, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a conservative guy, he writes for a National Review Online. Yeah. Yeah. He and some others like mm -hmm. him have come out and said, th this is sort of pointless. This is a political uh, gaffe or, or error or uh, 
you know, miscalculation by the, the administration, if anything. It is not mm -hmm. a criminal matter. You're not really going to be able to prosecute any leakers here, whether you have a special counsel or a, a U.S. attorney, an independent counsel, whoever you have. It's a political mm -hmm. matter. And, and that's what, how it should be treated by the Republicans. What say you to that? To that? I hadn't read Andy, Andy's comments, so I'd rather not comment on what he said. But I will say that this is this is mu much more serious than the Valerie Plame matter. I mean, Valerie Plame wasn't even a covert agent, um, and and so this was the, the the director of national intelligence and Senator Feinstein both have said these are the worst leaks they have seen in their entire careers in the intelligence world. You're talking about leaking the name of a source who led us to bin Laden. You're talking about leaking the fact that the United States, with the help of Israel, was in the yeah. lead in launching a cyber attack on Iran. I apologize for interrupting leaking. you, Mark, and I apologize sure. for not getting back to you, Simon. But